Okay, so we start, we open Unity and we can open the project which is the end of the Unity tutorial about John Lemon. Okay, from here we'll start we'll start from when my article finished. So we already have a lemon in the scene. You can see it here. And what we're missing from it is the particle effect when you collect the lemon and the sound. Okay, let's open the prefab of the lemon and we'll add the new particle effect that will be played when we actually collect the lemon. So let's go here. We'll create a copy of the existing particle and we'll call it particle collect. We'll change the duration to top 25 the start lifetime to top 25 as well and we'll remove the velocity over lifetime and we'll change the start speed to 1 so now we can see these massive old particles going on if we remove the looping we now play and we have some this kind of like explosion and then we can change the start size because they will, they will be very small at the, at the moment to like 0.1 so if we play that's the effect we want Next, we will add uh, two audio source. The first one will be the idle audio, and the next one will be the collect audio. So let's add in here. Both of them, will, the idle or idle one, will have play on awake and loop. We'll set the volume to something very low, like 0.2 and we'll make it 3D and the collect one will have the same point too in the volume and we'll leave it to 2D so the user will know always that it's collecting the item and we'll remove the play on awake so let's open the resources folder you should have a font two audio, two audio clips and one texture that we'll be using for the UI letter so if we go to audio here, we can just drag and drop these two. And then into the idle audio, we'll get the audio, the idle, and we'll drag it into the audio clip. And the collect one, we'll drag it into the audio clip. The next thing we want to do is we want to the collect audio to play when the player collects the item. So if we open the lemon pick upable script, it will open Visual Studio. And if we go to the script we created on the last article, the pickupable.cs, we'll see here that we have a pickup object function. So this function is called by the player script when he encounters one pickupable object. But this basically won't work for the audio because the pickup function will basically finish immediately and the destroy function will be called immediately without having the chance of to the to the audio to play. So what we'll do we'll actually transform this function into a coroutine and in this way we can actually wait for the audio to finish before destroying the object. So let's start by calling the start coroutine so this is a unity function you give it um, a coroutine and it will run for you so we'll call our coroutine to pick up and what the coroutine is is a normal function that just returns an enumerator so we'll add the namespace system collections have to pick up and in here we'll just copy these two And on the first one, we'll do yield return pickup. And this function here will change it to I enumerator. We'll also replace this into the lemon pickupable script where this was void before. You can see the error here. And now it's an I enumerator. So this the error will go away. We'll actually need system collections as well. We can see that we still have an error here. We that the error is because the, uh, the function is not returning anything and it should so we do yield return one 
So we'll return basically a number just to make the error go away. The, the sound that gets played after the collection of the item will be needed by every pickupable. So we'll add this functionality to the pickup to the base pickupable object. So we'll add two new variables. The type will be audio source for both of them. The first will be the um, my idle audio, and the second one will be audio source my idle my collect audio. We'll go here. Before doing the pickup, we'll do my audio my idle audio dot stop and my collect audio dot play. Then we'll do the pickup and then we'll do while my collect audio is playing yield return new wait for end of frame. This will make Unity wait before destroying the object until the my collect audio is playing. And in here we can see the lemon pickupable here on the right that now it has two new um, sources here. So we can just pop the all idle audio here and the collect audio here. And let's go back to the scene view from this arrow. Let's pop into the game. I can hear the sound of the object. If we go away, it will be less evident. And when I pick up the object, I can hear the full sound of the object being collected. Now that we have the audio in place, let's go back to the lemon prefab. So in here, we still have the particle collect that we're not using. So let's go back to the lemon capable script and we'll create two new variables. First one will be the idle particle. So that's, that this will be of type particle system using Unity Engine. So that, the first one will be idle particle and the second one will be the collect particle. So now into the pickup script we'll do what basically we did for the say for the audio. So we'll do idle particle dot stop and collect particle dot play. Then we want to actually yield return new wait for seconds this time because the particle actually has a duration. So we'll do collect particle dot main is the main module of the particle system dot duration this will be the 0 0.25 second that will need the that that the particle will need to actually play so we go back to unity now we can go here we can see now we have idle particle and collect particle so we'll just drag and drop the values particle collect if we now go back to the scene view and we hit play, we go and collect the item and we can see the particle effect play. For the last thing, we want to keep track how many lemons we have. So we go to the main scene and we create a new canvas object. So UI canvas. We'll get rid of the event system because we don't need one and we'll rename this canvas to UI. We'll set the canvas scaler to scale with screen size and we'll leave this to standard 1929-1080 and we'll remove the right caster since we're, going, we're not going to have any event on it. Then we'll create um, then we'll create a small section at the bottom right which co will contain our image and our text. So we'll go UI panel, we'll remove the image and we'll go in 2D here and we'll double click on the UI 
so we can now see it we have the panel we'll select on direct transfer the presets and we'll say pressing shift and alt that will set the position and the pivot of the element bottom right corner we'll, we'll reset the position x to zero and we'll set the width to something like 200 and the height to something like 150 which that should do for now and then below this we'll create an image which will be the lemon image and a text that will be the number of lemon so this will be 0 1 uh, 0 0 of, from the beginning and then the lemon image will have to include it so if we go under textures UI we already have these two images if we open the resources folder we have the UI lemon here we drag and drop it here and we drag and drop the font as well so we can now close this let's select the UI lemon and let's change the texture type to, to sprite let's hit apply and let's select the lemon image here and drag and drop the sprite now in the transform here we want to move this over to the right but in the center with alt and shift pressed so now it's on the right on the left and then number we'll move it to the right we'll set the height to be maximum and we'll increase the font size you can see the text here is very small so let's increase the font size a bit we'll set the color to be the same yellow of the lemon so let's use the eyedropper here and we'll set cent right and middle let's increase the font a bit more and we can actually select the best fit then into the we can actually split the game view here just to see how it looks in the game view as well so you can see that it's a bit too much on the right so what we can do is we select the panel and we change the position x to a negative number like minus 100 and a bit more on the height as well maybe like 50 maybe too much 25 yeah now we need to change the script the jump pickup script will add a reference to the text public text this is using unity engine UI and we'll call this the lemon number text and every time we pick up a lemon we'll actually change the text as well so text equals my lemons which is the number of lemons dot to string and we'll have two zeros as a format this will maintain the format as 0 1 0 2 0 3 now we go, we go back to unity and we can see the lemon number text here in the inspector so we drag and drop the number and then we can hit play so that's, 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 we have zero lemons at the moment.